What's up party people? So let me cast your mind back to the last vlog that I filmed. I said to you, me and Carly, my lovely wife, are going off to Jamaica. Do you want to come with us? And you all said, yes, take us along. So, let's go. Morning, welcome to Jamaica. I was gonna take you outside and show you around, but as soon as I step outside, the camera starts to steam up because it hasn't quite got used to the heat, but it is beautiful. Let's get cracking. We've got so much to cover in this vlog. If you're going on holiday and you wanna stay shredded, wait, I'm gonna show you how. Let's get moving. Hang on a minute. I haven't even shown you around the room yet. How rude of me. This is the house. The bathroom. The bedroom. Living room, kitchen bar, and the pool. Tour over, now me and Kyle are gonna head down to the gym and just get moving. There's gonna be no special stuff going on, just mobilizing, because you know what it's like after a long flight? Just feel a little bit like that. So, I'll see you in the gym. So there's a first huge tip when it comes to going on holiday and training and stuff. Get in the gym if there is one and do something the first day that you get there after you've rested up. Because if you're anything like me, you just feel tight and immobile. So I come in and I've been in here for about 45 minutes and I spent 20 of those minutes just mobilizing, stretching, moving through ranges of movement, nothing particularly heavy. And now I feel like my body belongs to me again and it's instantly gonna make you feel a little bit more motivated throughout the trip. But next, next thing motivating me is food. Let's go. Breakfast is done, gym is done. Now, I've had a shower and we're gonna head down to the beach and chill. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a bird's eye view of as much of this huge Sandals resort as I possibly can. So we're staying in Jamaica, obviously. We're staying with Sandals at Ochi Beach Resort and it is stunning. So take a quick look around and I'm gonna catch you guys in a little while. Right, that is enough sun for one day. I wish I, I never thought I would ever say those words, but I don't know what it is. Are we just getting a little bit wiser now as we're growing up, babe? We're getting a bit old. We are, we kind of had like four or five hours of sun, which is more than enough on a very beautiful day. And I've come back and I'm going for a run. I'm gonna go and hit a 5K down in the gym because I'm just really enjoying my running at the moment. I should have called this video like a tip video for holidays. But one other thing, me and John don't really advocate taking pre-workouts to motivate yourself. It's more of a case of getting that extra little bit of a stimulation when you know you're gonna do it just to push that little bit more. But I'm gonna kinda sound a little bit like a hypocrite because when I'm on holiday, and I sound like that anyway because I drink coffee before I train anyway. And most stim-based pre-workouts are caffeinated. But one thing that really helps me when I'm on holiday, pre-workout. I've got this one by Bolt Powders at the moment. And when I come away, there are days, and a lot of days, I will say, I just really can't be bothered. But I've been banging in a pre-workout and popping down by the time I get to the gym, which is like a 10 minute walk from here, something like that, if I walk slow, I am ready to go. So get a pre-workout in your luggage. It will help you fly in the gym. Anyway, 5K, I will see you afterwards. That sucked. I repped the TLM t-shirt well, I think, it's very sweaty. It took me just over 20 minutes today, so I definitely needed more water. It was very, very warm, but happy I've done it. Now, I'm gonna go and chill on the balcony with my beautiful wife, who's already out there. I've moved on to the portable, the small camera. Um, we're now heading down with Samuel, and we're gonna go to the bar. Samuel, hey Samuel, hey. Samuel, this is AKA Superman Sam. All right, all right, one love, one love. <laughs> taking, it, taking us down, and we're gonna have a couple of beers. I've yeah. already had a couple of beers yeah. before we go. We're going to the French restaurant tonight, right? Yes, sir. It, I've heard nothing but good things, so I'm very yeah, excited. Man, the Lingoma. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. So, how are we doing? I'm up. It's quite early, and I've actually just had word from JC back in the UK that. It's uh, snowing over there right now. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, it sucks, all this sun. Sorry, brother. I'll be in it with you in a couple of days. But until then, we're gonna soak this up. We're gonna soak it up hard. So, you'll probably notice from this kind of vlog, normally when we travel, we do loads of 
going around, doing loads of different things, trying this, trying that, and soaking it all in. But this, this has been all about just chilling for us and actually having some time to breathe. The Sandals Resort was perfect for that. It's been really cool. Oh, I've gone a little bit dark. And essentially, it's a bit more like a, a tips-based video. So helping you navigate when you go away if you're struggling with training, nutrition, all that kind of stuff. So it's not, not so much all the frills and spills, that kind of thing. Just giving you little sections of each day so you can kind of get a good idea of what I'm up to. I can still have a chill and be selfish and everything like that and spend some time with Carly. And hopefully you can take some good tips and bits to arm yourself for your next holiday. So if you're liking this kind of style and you'd like to see how we maybe navigate our snowboarding holidays or how we do our adventure holidays, because me and Carly are doing a road trip from Malibu up to San Francisco, going to uh, Yosemite National Park, Joshua Tree and everything like that over Christmas. If you want to see that kind of stuff as well, let me know in the comment box below. But now, I'm going to go and get some breakfast, and I think we've got a massage this morning, which I'm very excited about. We have had our massage, both feeling very, very relaxed right now. And, we, and we came out to the news that we're now going to trek Dunge River Falls. Yeah, which, which is apparently like a, the best waterfall here, and we actually, they just told me to go for my jewelry, and we literally hike through the falls yeah, up. Up to the top. And apparently water can be here or here, or yeah. here. So I'm going to not take this camera. No. That's oh, a good crap. point. I'm not going to take this camera, I'm going to take the GoPro. Have you got it with you? Yeah, so you guys can see what we get up to. Mm. God, I feel so zoned out right now, it's yeah. crazy. It was a couple's massage, which personally I find a little bit awkward because they always think, get out of my massage, I want my own one. But it was really good. It was really good. Right, so, I should see you at the falls. So annoyingly, we got to Dun River Falls and my GoPro broke. So, I just got to the top, gone and picked my phone up so I can actually show you guys what's going on. But we're literally at the top. So there's loads of people, obviously, um, and it was essentially like a 600 meter route all the way up through the jungle, climbing up through the falls, and it was freaking awesome. I'm so annoyed about my GoPro, but I still got to experience it, so yeah, kind of couldn't show you guys. But when you come to Jamaica, make sure you go and check, check it out yourself. Morning from a slightly weary-headed lean machine over here. Even Carly, and Carly doesn't get hangovers, is feeling a little bit rough this morning. From a great night, we danced. We danced a dirty dancing, didn't we? Yeah. At the time of our life, in the little rabbit hole, which is a bar. It's called a speakeasy bar. It was fan-bloody-tastic. And now we're just getting everything ready because we've got to be out of our room by 11, I think. Uh, we're going to head down to the pool, get some more food, just soak it all up because I know back in the UK it's like one or two degrees at the moment. So I'm just going to enjoy every last drop of Jamaica. If this isn't a sign of just how good Jamaica's been to us, I don't know what is. The last day, <laughs> we're just chilling, waiting to go home. We're leaving. It's Jamaica, Carly says Jamaica's crying because we're leaving. So it's raining today, and it's like the first day it's rained. And we're under like a little veranda thing. And it's actually quite lovely, isn't it? Very nice to So it's come to the end, guys. Our stay here over in Jamaica is nearly done. I've just packed my bags, just taken everything. I've just come to one side just to kind of tidy up the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed coming along to Jamaica with us. We've stayed with Sandals, Ochi Beach Resort. If you want to know anything more about coming here yourself, just ask me in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to recommend this place. It's been fantastic. I've eaten so much food, so much great food as well. I've drank alcohol every single day, which I don't recommend at all. But still, I was on holiday, you gotta have fun. And I've had so much fun with the locals. They have been so, so nice to us. So the main takeaway points, guys, I hope this video helped. If you're going away and one of the things you struggle with, just the same as me, is I always bloat, I always get out of shape and I always lose it a little bit. Don't worry purely about aesthetics because it's not all about vanity, but just in case you're a little bit like me and you don't wanna be down when you get back because you're like, I've done all that hard work and I've lost it, eat decent food as much as you possibly can. Don't track your macros or worry about that. Just, just try and be sensible. Try and stay somewhere within the lines that you were doing and the boundaries that you were before you went away. Maybe bring your calories down a smidge, around 100 to 150 calories, maybe if you're not gonna be as active as you are at home. Main thing I did training wise, I kept in my weights. Lean tissue, metabolically active, it burns more calories. Hit your strength sessions really hard in the gym. And if you wanna do some extra cardio, I, I only did what, four, 5K runs, that's all it did. Nothing like hit style or anything like that. Just burn, burn, food, burn, burn through more calories. 
and just looked after myself. I drank every single day, I had fun, I partied, I danced, I loved it. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming along to Jamaica. I'm gonna go now because I've probably got time for one more beer before I get on the plane. Um, you guys are freaking awesome. Leave a massive like and comment below if you enjoyed it. I'm just running on now. I'm just kind of like dazed because I've been here for a week and I'm just relaxed now. But I see you back in the cold English weather very shortly, guys. Thanks so much for watching.